Hey, Toonami. This week on The Bloom Room, I take you back to Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. It's a whole different experience this time. Check it out. My son, Dev, and his girlfriend, Chloe, were in town this week, and Chloe's brother, Kalen, works at JPL. So we were treated to an amazing tour. Kalen specializes in exoplanets. He can explain what it is much better than I. Hi, so my name is Kalen Henderson, and I'm a new NASA postdoctoral fellow here at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Southern California. Uh, and my research focuses on looking for exoplanets. So these are planets that are outside of our solar system, so either gravitationally tethered to a star, or uh, we believe that there might be a large contingent of planets that are free-floating. Uh, so either formed not around any star, or formed around a star, and then were dynamically kicked out. And so I actually use a couple of the, the spacecraft that were designed and constructed here at JPL. So in specific, the Kepler Space Telescope and the Spitzer Space Telescope. And I specialize in using a technique called gravitational microlensing. So this uses the fact that massive objects such as planets or even stars and galaxies will bend or reflect the, refract the light uh, from more distant objects. And this is something that allows us to explore the different demographics of exoplanets. How common are they? What kinds of stars have planets? How many planets do they have? In his office, Kalen showed us his doodle board. This level of smart makes my brain hurt. JPL tried to put their initials on the tires of the Mars rover Curiosity. NASA said no, so they put it on there anyway, in Morse code. It's still tagging it all over Mars. And then, Voyager. Launched in 1977, the twin Voyager 1 and 2 spacecraft are exploring where nothing from Earth has flown before. In August 2012, Voyager 1 made the historic entry into interstellar space, the region between stars. Both spacecraft are still sending scientific information about their surroundings through the Deep Space Network, or DSN. While in the Voyager room, Fernando Peralta, one of the main guys responsible for Voyager and many other missions, happened to be there and gave us a private lecture on the spacecraft and what it does. Blew our space-loving minds. And there was so much more to see and do at JPL. The unsung heroes of Caltech, JPL, and NASA are literally discovering new worlds every day. If you have the chance, go. And until next time, I'll see you in the Bloom Room and beyond. Only, Only Tsunami, tsunami on Adult Swim. swim.